There is no doubt about it. Derek Fisher is one of the most loved players ever to put on the purple and gold. I recently caught up with D. Fish to talk about him being a Laker legend. Legends, sponsored by calljacob.com. If there's anyone who can be called a Laker legend, it's Derek Fisher. <laughs> uh, it's, I still have to laugh because uh, I, you know, I grew up uh, watching and idolizing in a, in a good way, in my opinion, you know, Magic and B. Scott and James and, and Kareem and Jamal Wilkes and Michael Thompson and Kurt Rambis and Mitch Kupchak and it like, you know, and so to to imagine my life in any way crossing paths with those guys, like I, I never could have dreamt that in, in my wildest dreams. And so, yeah, I just have to chuckle when I hear it. Uh, and but I'm thankful for all the experiences. All right. Do you chuckle when I say 0.4 seconds? <laughs> I, I do because it's been so, <laughs> almost 17 years ago. Now. <laughs> Here they go. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Derek God. Fisher scores at the buzzer! That moment for me, that was my first NBA game winning shot. And um, yeah, so I just, again, it's like I've been living a dream since 1996. And uh, thankfully, it's, it's still going. But you know you've made an impact on the sport when they change the rules because of you. <laughs> yeah, that, they I changed the rules because of you and that shot. <laughs> I think, um, you know, some teams would, you know, disagree that uh, <laughs> that there should be that rule in place. But uh, I'm just thankful, man, for, for every opportunity and every experience. You have five, a handful of rings, and you got all five of those with Kobe. Your relationship with Kobe Bryant was unlike anyone else's relationship with him. Wouldn't you agree? The bond that we had, the relationship that we built together um, over, you know, 13 and a half years of being on the same team and practicing against each other, beating each other up, cussing each other out. Uh, you know, we, we, um, we drove each other in ways that I'm not sure um, other guys could have. He saw the work that I put in, and I think he he loved basketball in ways that's hard to put into words. Like he put it into words because he, you know, he wrote a short film. He writ he's written stories literally about his love for basketball. Um, I think he was able to connect to other people that he feels like loved basketball in a similar way than that he did, and. I really think that's where our bond formed, right? Was like this initial recognition that this guy loves the game as bad as I do. And he's willing to literally sacrifice his body, his time, his pain, whatever it takes in order to win. And that's what connected us and still does. You know, all these things we've talked about, oh, the big reasons why Derek Fisher is a Laker legend. I was very lucky that Jerry West was able to cut through the noise and <laughs> take a chance on a, a little short dude from Little Rock and, uh, you know, and just believe that I could be helpful uh, in the vision that he was creating.